Today we will be reviewing the removal and installation process for the maintenance kit parts for the M351451 and that's uh, we'll be using the 451 as our demo machine and uh, I will put the kit parts in the comments of this video and blog post so you can see the number of items and the part numbers that come with the maintenance kit and uh, for this replacement it's a couple tools to recommend is Phillips head flat head and a good uh, tweezers or needle nose pliers and from this point on I'm gonna hand it off to the professor okay first thing you want to do have your printer turned on and in a ready state okay and in order to change the uh, well the first first things first let's remove your paper tray okay and uh, in order to change the rollers in this, you need to go into the secondary service menu and uh, select the option to rotate the rollers. If you don't do that, you're not going to have full access to it and you might cause damage to the pickup assembly trying to remove it. So in, to get into the secondary service menu, you're going to hold down the left arrow button and press the X until it says secondary service menu. There you go. Uh, once and then you hit OK to go into the secondary service menu, and then just go hit the left arrow button one time so it says pick roller. Hit OK. And it's going to say press OK to rotate. So hit the OK button and then you'll hear the printer spin the rollers. Okay. So at this point, you want to unplug the printer. Don't turn it off. Unplug it. Okay. Open up the door. We're going to take the toner out because uh, we're going to be turning the printer on its side. And when you do that, it's always a good idea to take your toner out so it doesn't spill or dump to one side of the cartridge. Close this back up again. And we're going to lift the printer on its back side. Remember, make sure that you have unplugged it. So here's, what we're, here's the tray 2 pickup roller that we're going to change first. Okay, and with it in the rotated position, you could see these two little white arms on each side. That's what hold it in place. So what we need to do is grab your roller, and we want to spread these arms out so that the roller becomes unclipped. Just pivot it forward, take it right out. Next, you want to change your tray to separation roller assembly. That's this right here. It's got this little holder in front of it. Use your uh, small flat head. You're just going to pop that off. There's a post on this side and that side. Just spread it out. You can go on either side. It really doesn't matter. Take it off. It looks like that. Okay, so to get this out, just grab hold of it. And you're going to pull to the side, the bracket, the bushing that it's held in place. Holds it in place. And lift it right out. You're going to see that the left side of the shaft is keyed. It's got to go on the left side when you put it back in. The right side is round. Right side round, left side keyed. So your replacement, it's always easier to put the right side in first. So do that, put it in its place. And then you're left. Okay. It'll snap into place. It'll spin this way, but not this way. It's clutched. This way, but not this way. Okay. Let's put our roller holder back on, snap that back into place. Okay. Then we're going to put our new tray 2 pickup roller back in place. So just pull this forward. It's spring loaded. It's going to pivot. And at the bottom of your tray 2 pickup roller, you've got these little nubs, these little posts. Not these on top, but these on bottom. Looks like a little U. Okay. And <clears throat> in the bracket that holds the roller in place, you'll see these two little cutouts down there. We're going to put the U-shaped ones down in the bottom, put those into place, and then just snap your roller in, onto the shaft. 
Okay, your arms are holding it in place now. So done and done. We still got to keep the printer on end like this, okay? Because now we're going to do the tray one pickup roller and set pad. So this is your duplex assembly. Pull it down like that. It's loose. It'll come free. And it's kind of the same thing with this roller. When we rotated the rollers, it also rot rotated this one into place for us to, to change. And it's got these two little arms on each side, just like the other one did. So you want to spread them out. Whoop. Popped right out. All right, good. Um, and now your separation pad, your tray one separation pad. On the front here, use your little flat head. Just get in there, pry it up. Comes right out. Your new set pad, line it up, snap it in place. Done. <clears throat> now the pickup roller. <clears throat> Same thing as uh, the tray two pickup roller. It's got these little posts on the bottom. Those are going to go down here where you see the cutouts in the bracket. Let's put those in, put those the bottom in place first. And then Okay, bottom in place. And then snap the top in place. The arms are going to contain it. And then you can push this back up. <clears throat> Put your printer back down. Plug it in. We'll put our toners back in. And then our paper tray. And that's it for this part of the uh, maintenance kit procedure. A couple of repair notes on this. It is, uh, OEM uh, has an estimated 125,000 page yield on the kit fuser. And uh, this fuser and kit is available in a number of different options here at Metro Fuser. Now there's no page count reset for this uh, device. The printer does not track page counts for maintenance. And uh, now for a fuser replacement and transfer roller, that'll be in a, a, sep a separate video that you can locate on our uh, YouTube channel and, or our website. If you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe and visit us online at MetroFuser.com.